we were just thinking about the properties of the materials, right? So what must a good hand pollinator be able to do? Owen? Take, take, take uh, the pollen to another, take the pollen to another flower. Okay, so it needs to first be able to pick it up, pick it up and, take it, take it to another flower. and what will it do when it gets to the other flower? Drop, Drop it. it. Drop it off. Good job. What would happen if the material could just pick up and not drop off? What would happen? Grace? It wouldn't, it wouldn't be pollinated, right. So you can see this anther part right here, this part that's sticking up kind of looks like it has little, little balls, little brown balls and yellow balls at the top of it. That's where all the pollen is. So the insect will be going to visit to get the nectar, which is probably down inside here. And while it's there, it will touch the pollen on the anther. All right, so we're going to try to figure out which materials will work the best. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do it. You have some fake flowers. Do you see them? Yeah. And in the middle, there's some black circles. Do you see that? Each of them, one ha each of them has a name of the material that you were thinking about the properties of, right? These describe all the kinds of materials that you have in your bags. Okay, so in order for us to do this exactly the same, everybody has to test the materials just the same way. So in order to do that, I'm going to show you how you're going to pretend to be an insect with these materials, okay? So I'm going to use the marble first. And I'm going to make sure that my cup with the hole is on top of the black circle for the marble flower, okay? And I have a piece of paper here that has all the materials as well. This paper says marble. And then the question says, does it pick up the pollen? Yes or no? Does it drop off the pollen? Yes or no? Does it drop off no pollen, some pollen, or a lot of pollen? Okay, so you have three choices when you do drop it off to check to see. Okay, so I'm going to pick up my pollen, and this is how you're going to do it. You're just going to tap, okay? Did it pick up pollen? Yes, yeah, so on my paper I would circle, yes. Let's drop it off. Now this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to tap my cup very gently three times. How many times? Three. Ready? One, two, three. That's it, okay? And now I'm going to check to see if it dropped off any pollen. Brianna, come and check. Do you see any pollen on my black circle? Yes. Is there a, it says no pollen, so there is some pollen. How about some pollen? Some pollen. Some pollen or a lot of pollen? Some. Some pollen. And I'm not going to wipe it off. I'm not going to wipe it off. I'm going to leave it on there. Because so I'm going to compare this pollen to this pollen to this pollen. I'm going to show you how to take, test the tape. Oops, the pot, cotton ball. Take a piece of tape and roll it over. Roll it over. Okay? Test the tape that way. You don't think so? Well, you think it'll drop off as well? Do you think it might drop off a little? No. You'll have to check and tell me back. Okay? Oh, what are you, you going to write? A lot or some? Some? Okay. Where's your paper here? Let's find, let's find your razor. Yeah. Here it is. Did it pick it up? Yes. Okay. Did it drop off some? Yes. Okay. Did a, no pollen, some pollen, or a lot? Good job. Yeah, right. Okay. Can't even tell you. Need a Okay. It did pick up some. All of them work. All of them work. The pom pom did a lot. Yes. So, let okay. me get my stuff out. Foil. Um, I got foil. Dig, dig. I need it. Tomorrow? Um, no, that. Oh, here. Here you go. Let's see. I think it's a lot. You think that's a lot? What do you think? Some, but a lot too. I'm just gonna circle blue. I think it's in between. I think it's full. In between? Yeah. I'm just gonna both because it's in between. Yeah. Here, do the tape. May I do the tape? Yes, Slater showed you how to do it. 
And then, Nuti, you can do... <laughs> you have to circle back like this. And then, Nuti, no, you, you can do the next one, okay? Put it on your finger. Yeah. Good job, you tap. Wait, did it pick it up? Yes. Right, yes. Circle yes. Yes. What senior is it? Okay, did it drop it off? Mm -hmm. I didn't check. They get teeny bit. Did it drop some off? Yeah. So, what did you find out? What were some of the materials that you think were going to be good materials because of their properties and because of what you tested would make good hand pollinators and then tell me why you think so. What did you find out, David? Me and Cole, all, all, the only ones that worked best was the pom pom and the pipe cleaner. Oh, so the pipe cleaner and the, and the cotton and the pom pom picked, picked up the most for you, David? Okay, anybody else have the pom-pom and the pipe cleaner think that that was the best? JR? Um, the pom-pom and the pipe cleaner picked up the most on ours. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you think? Because the, um, the pom-pom, it's soft and it can pick up stuff. Because it was Water soft, so the texture yeah. on the outside was soft? Mm -hmm. What else do you think? Um, the pipe cleaner. Mm -hmm. Can you grab it like it's like a claw? Oh. Just grab it in here. It's like one of those um, trees that have like the animals in it. You just grab it and then put it. So its texture helps it collect? Okay. How many people had no pollen for some of them? Any of them that dropped off no pollen? The aluminum foil had no pollen. How many people had picked up some for the aluminum foil? Oh, so she said no and you said yes. Hmm. I'm wondering why some people get different results. Because probably it, um, ours was more crumbled and this was less crumbled. Okay, so it was a different kind of an experiment. So if you got different results than somebody else, what do you think an, an engineer or a scientist might do if everybody got sort of different results? What would they have to do? What would be a what would be a good thing that a scientist or an engineer might do with these materials again? Compare. Compare, and then if they got different results, what would they do? They would try it again. Try it again. Awesome. What part of the design, the in, uh, engineering design process, have we just been doing? Which part do you think, Aaliyah? Plan. You're planning already. Did you draw it out? No, wasn't that part. What do you think it might be? Think. You're thinking. You're imagining already? You could be imagining already, but you've already done something before that. Ask. ask. You're right at the ask stage. You're asking about what materials do I have? What do the materials do? Which materials will work the best? Were you all asking good questions? Yes, you were. So you're really at the asking stage. What's the next stage of our en engineering design process? Imagine, you're going to imagine how your hand pollinator is going to look. I think I explained it to them. I demonstrated it and then I, I think in the, in the demonstration I also explained that it was very important that each person do it exactly the same, otherwise the results may not be um, accurate. And we've had other opportunities where things are not as accurate because people are not doing things the way everyone else is and so you kind of skew your results. So I think they understood that, and I think they did a very good job at really following, and I th kids really need a model of explaining how it's done. So they, um, it was advantageous for them to see it happen. It absolutely helped them because none of them wanted that marble. <laughs> they understood that the marble picked up, but it really didn't do a really good job, and the scotch tape also picked up. Everything was sort of picked up, but didn't really drop off as much. So they were making really good judgments about the materials that they actually wanted to use. The book is kind of difficult too because in the picture, Mariana has a hand pollinator with a pom-pom on, pom -pom on it. So they all go for the pom-pom till they realize the pom-pom won't fit in some of the materials and it always gets stuck in, the, <laughs> stuck in the vials or stuck in the orchid. So but we have to work on that. <laughs>